טל קרביץ, שלום. שלום. And welcome to Culture Buzz. Thank you. טל, you are a renowned multi-instrumentalist, going all over the world, delighting, delighting crowds with your wonderful music. You are going to make me blushing now? It's okay, it's allowed. <laughs> How did it all start for you? Uh, you mean for the Ministry of Culture? Of a, for Tal Kravitz. Of a for Tal Kravitz. Ministry of Foreign Affairs or for no, Tal Kravitz for Tal himself? Kravitz. You, are, you, you, are, you are more interesting. <laughs> Thank you. Well, since I remember myself, I dreamt to, to play music. And as a l- little child, I was discovered as a known musical person. <clears throat> so, I f- unfortunately, I had to, um, to play hidden somewhere in a piano, in an old shack. You started with a piano? Piano was the first yeah. instrument? In piano. a kibbutz? Uh, a few of the keys of the piano. Was it in a kibbutz? It was in the kibbutz. I was born and raised up in a kibbutz. And uh, then after a couple of years of uh, playing secretly, I was discovered and my punishment was to actually be the, ma- the pianist of the kibbutz choir. Ah, this <laughs> is indeed the punishment. Started. Yeah, it was a very good punishment. <laughs> Then it all started. I started uh, uh, learning uh, violin. On your own or you had the uh, teachers? No. Then uh, I was uh, allowed to, to learn uh, regularly like every other child because then they discovered maybe I do have some talent for music. So uh, after violin I moved on to the big violin, to the double bass. Ah, played in the Kibbutz uh, National Israeli Orchestra. Wow. And, um, I think that's how they call it in English. And uh, then, right after the army, I went to Australia, Papua New Guinea. I came across some traditional cultures at the jungles of Papua New Guinea, which I actually crossed walking on feet. And uh, then I decided I wanted to be an ethnomusicologist. And after a short visit back to Israel to the kibbutz, where I actually directed the music school, which did not accept me when I was younger, Uh, I went to Africa. Revenge, revenge. Oh yeah. I went to Africa and there I actually got my uh, um, professional future. In Africa I uh, operated as a music teacher, helped the locals to maintain uh, their uh, musical culture by uh, playing uh, or learning how to write and read notes. Okay. And they were able to write their own traditional songs. For the first time ever. Songs for the first time ever. Songs wow. that have been sang, you know, since the dawn of humanity. humanity. Where in Africa? Uh, the border between Kenya and uh, Uganda. Wow. With the Baluya people, Kakamega district. Which year are we talking about? When was that? 16 years ago. Hey. When I was young. You started young. <laughs> yeah. You started really young. Oh, yeah. And tell me, Tal, Wherever you went, you basically picked up the local instruments and taught yourself how to play them. Ethnic music or tribal music was always the, the biggest uh, fascinating uh, passion. It's area. A, it's a passion for you. Yeah, very passionate for me. And if I may and say so, after listening to your music, it definitely shows or... I should rephrase it. You can hear it when you play. Let me be open with the crowd. <laughs> I am strongly hyperactive, which means I can't sit down for too long with one instrument. So I Lucky to, us. To, uh, Lucky us. <laughs> to go on from an instrument to another. <laughs> and that's why I go to different places in the world. I collect instruments. I meet local musicians participating with them. And my biggest love actually is... traditional Israeli and Jewish classics. Hey. And I sing also in Yiddish, Ladino, wow. uh, Yemenite, Persian, Arabic, Russian. And Amazing. Actually, I sing in 27 languages. Wow, unbelievable. But I'm going to learn some more in the <laughs> soon future. And uh, when I perform abroad with the Kashtum, with the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. The Cultural uh, Division. The Cultural Division, yeah. Uh, then I, uh, I do mainly Israeli and Jewish classics, which I involve with uh, worldwide uh, instruments um, and a few uh, folk songs from different nations. Okay. And, uh, I'm also taking advantage 
of this musical opportunity to tell the story of the nation of Israel. Okay. And the story of uh, 2,000 years of living or wandering across the world, around the world, in dreams and, uh, and hope for, you know, re the return to the land of the ancestors. And, and, you, then, use, and you basically use music yeah. to tell this story well, to, audience, to audiences and some of them uh, probably know very little about it. Uh, most of them don't know anything about the story anything. of Israel. And we are and talking about the four corners of the world, you are, because you are going all over the place. Oh yeah. And most of my audiences are uh, students, which are, you know, the coming... Uh, um, uh, the coming nation or those who are going to lead yes. the, their nations yes. in sometimes yes. in the future. Wow. So we so, do a lot of charity for uh, children in a uh, uh, orphanage, in the hospitals. And then this is a great opportunity to have to have come from such a place as Israel because it is the culture is so colorful as we've got Jewish people migrated from all over the world. We've yeah. got all these languages. The diversity. And, yes, exactly. Yes. And all the instruments and the the rhythms. So basically, if one has to uh, describe Tal Kravitz's music, it will be fusion, maybe even confusion. Uh, confusion, uh, cultural salad. In every place I perform, I always learn at least two songs in the local language. And these are usually the points where the audience gets crazy and uh, they all sing with me and they're really excited to see This Israeli guy singing in Thai, in Filipino, Tagalog, wow. Chinese, uh, Bulgarian. So, so you have a, you have a huge repertoire, uh, a huge, huge one. Yes, how do you, how do you remember? And except for the performances, sometimes I give workshops for students. Ah, okay. Oh. Everything is okay. <laughs> Everything is okay. Uh, so what can we wish, uh, Tal Kravitz? for the future? Uh, <laughs> to get a bigger place to hold <laughs> all my instruments. <laughs> uh, no, no, I'm joking. Uh, just uh, what we can wish, or what you can all wish for me, is to have no change. To continue. Just to continue. To continue and to go on. By the way, before we conclude this conversation, Did you ever uh, count how many days a year you spend in Israel and how many days a year you spend abroad? What is the ratio? Well, recently, uh, I've been traveling approximately once for two months. Once every two months? Uh, yeah, wow. once every two months for about uh, one week, ten days. Which means you are, very, you are a very busy man and we are fortunate and even more, so I. <laughs> even more fortunate are your audiences all over the world. Oh, so Tal, It's my pleasure. thank you very much for being who you are and doing what you are doing and keep on uh, doing that. Thank you. Toda Shalom. Shalom.